Hey sports fans, Chris Ball here. Thanks for checking in to the YouTube channel. Hayes Hawks in blue, freshman here at Johnson High School, which is in the Hayes CISD district, playing the Seguin Matadors in white. Hayes, a two and three record, looking to try to get back to 500. And Louie, set to kick, gets a foot into it, finds all the way down to the 12 yard line, bounces, and it's gonna go in the end zone, but it's not because they're gonna do it in a reverse. Six Peach right there to make the tackle and drag him down inside the 10. So how about the start? from the cover team of Hayes. Typically, the Hayes freshmen play wherever the varsity plays, which will be in Seguin tomorrow night. But for some reason, the Matadors couldn't host Hayes, so they're here in a Hayes-friendly environment. JV will play here next. Two back set, strength the left, twins, and then a give up the middle. 21's got a little room and still making his way. Bowling ball style gets out past the 25 for a first down. And the clock was running, and right before the snap, the line judge put his hands over his head to say, stop the clock. The ball was snapped, so not sure what that was about, but a first down nonetheless for Seguin. So just a belly dive play to 21 to start. Second play, Hay showing blitz. Four is Joseph, first man to him, and is able to wrap him up after a yard pickup. A 3-3 stack defense for Hayes. Oliver, the Mike backer, anchoring that effort. Number 11, Austin, still out from his appendectomy. They've missed him. Second and nine for Seguin. High snap, five off his helmet, being chased by 12, and he just goes down to the ground. Looks like he might have lost his footing. He wasn't tackled. He was able to get the ball back, but, buddy, he lost a bunch. Third and 23, got to get to the 35 to keep it alive. And this time they balance the wide receivers. Three-step drop for the quarterback. Now he's flushed, wants the fade route. And 82's got it. Gingro had to recover and couldn't. And there goes 82 off to the house. And there's a player on the field there. Peach coming from the cornerback side. And Peach will let him have it. And the touchdown strike in the air will count. No flags. It's a big one. And Gingro just lost his footing somehow. Lost the receiver. Couldn't recover. And it's 6 0. The pass wasn't particularly on the money. In fact, it floated kind of like a duck and the receiver had to kind of wait on it, but Jaden just couldn't find his bearings. Did a full 360, it looked like. Extra point try from the gun, five, belly play to 21. Wrapped up by, I think, the right defensive end. It's no good, and it was Louie. No, this side defensive end, I believe, and we'll credit him for that stop. Stays at six. So in watching the touchdown back, Gingro bit on the stop and go route on the five yard stop. And on a third and 23, that's a tough one to bite on knowing that they probably aren't gonna throw a five yard stop. That's a coaching point and he'll get better. He's an athlete. Seguin looks like an onside kick. Just one step back from the ball is the kicker. Let's see what five does. It is just a one step. 80 will field it clean and go right to his knees safely on the 39. So number five, the kicker, also responsible for that touchdown pass, playing quarterback, and he's the deepest man here on this shallow defense. 14, Troy, the quarterback, handed Peach. 22, tried to get him, and they couldn't, and Peach hits the gas. And then a big collision there and throws him down. How about the authority from six? And it's a big first down, first play from Hayes. So inside Seguin territory now, just after one play, Troy in the gun, and the give is to Cohen. Flag on the play, slung down, wrapped up, and we'll see what the flag is. It may have been, it's encroachment on Seguin, so they'll go first down again, five yards closer. So the nose tackle here in about a two technique, lined up in the neutral zone, guilty of that infraction. Four wide for Hayes, Troy, slant route, got it, Wyatt, number three, and he's got a first down. We'll hold on to that ball, and he does. He's inside the 25 for another first down. 80 splits out wide to the right, slot T, otherwise everybody in tight. And give is to Javi, up the middle he goes, loose still, slips the tackle and then he bats another one down and falls into the end zone, touchdown Hayes. And in three plays, maybe four, they respond. How about the authority running from these backs in the backfield? Javi swatted a hand that was trying to get him. Flag football, of course, that's flag guarding, not tackle lead. Extra point try. Right side and tackled just shy of the line to make, which was the goal line. 6 6 tie. Nine minute quarters here for freshmen. And number eight, Louie, tees it up. 
and sends this one to the same spot. 82, who was responsible for that touchdown a minute ago, is going to do the reverse again. And this time, Peach can't find him. 20's got a little room. Javi grabs a jersey and slings him down. So this one works out better than the last one. 20 out to the 36. Twins left, first down. Same formation they came out with last time. A little bubble screen pass, a hitch. Wyatt, the first man there, couldn't make the tackle. And then Peach catches him for a four-yard pickup and tackles him there at the 40. Here on second down, 82 lined up all the way out here to the number. Ginger on his inside. It's a belly give to 21. And Wyatt from the safety position does make this one this time. Gives up three. It'll be third and short. All pink socks for Seguin in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month here in October. Some on the Hayes side as well. 21 through the left side. He's got room. And there he goes. Off to the races. Peach has him and grabs his jersey and slings him down. But it is good for about 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, maybe 26 yards. Spots the 33 on the far side hash. They're going to go to the wide side of the field. 21 gets it again right up the middle, and he's productive. Finally found by a host of Hawks, but he's got seven anyway. Second, just three goes. So they won first time. The ball's on the ground, but the quarterback reaches down, picks it up, and the 20, and body slammed there by a linebacker. No, it's right from the safety, and he's got the majority of the tackle today from his line point, 10 yards deep. Second down, gave up two yards, so it's just third and one. Wide outs to each side. Five under center this time. High formation, quarterback sneak, Jalen Hurts special, minus the push, the tush push as they call it. It's good by a yard for a first down. Kiefer checks in the ball game for 52 at that right defensive end spot as we change quarters. Second quarter, 82, and Wyatt had footsteps coming downhill. 82 must have known it. Shied away from the ball, incomplete. And three is definitely making his presence known on the defensive side of the ball today. So second and 10 from the 21. Twins left. And that's the direction the ball will go. 21 slips through that defensive front again. And he's been productive every single time he's run that. Hayes will have to come up with a scheme to find him and tackle him before he gets through the congestion. He's a yard shy. So I formation, look for the quarterback sneak again. Five may just keep it and try to get this first down. He will, and he's going to bounce to the outside and hits the Jets. Peach slings him and tackles him, but it's good for a first down. First and goal at the five. Seguin with the plays on their wrist, and coach from the sidelines says run play one. No huddle. Here they go. Five, hands of 21. It's been their bread and butter all day. And he finds congestion there and down at the one-yard line, second, and they'll just need a yard to go, look for five to try to sneak it in. So in the gun this time. And 21 is going to get it and found by Lewis. The defensive end came straight downhill, knew his assignment, nothing to contain, and then went and made the play. How about eight? Loss of two, third and goal from the three. I formation now, five is under center. Chats with his fullback. And toss sweep, shovels a 21. And he's across, I think he is. 53 thought he tackled him before, had that knee tagged down, but they say no, he's across. And the second score of the day for Seguin on the board. PAT try is in the I formation yet again, so they're diversifying some of their fronts. And same play, 21's going to go wide this time, finds traffic, slung down, and he rolls over the body of Kiefer, I think it may have been Lewis. He rolled over somebody's body, he was able to stay up and cross the goal line for the first extra point of the day, and that'll get him to 14. So in a league where field position is not so important because nobody's kicking field goals for with field position, a lot of teams elect to give them a short field and then just try to stop the offense, and that's what five's going to do. He's going to kick it pooch kick style. Oliver going to get it, or 68 rather, and then he's pile-drived at the 40-yard line, so decent field position again. And Hayes drove last time unimpeded, and they'll try to repeat. So Christian, number 16, slips into halfback for Javi while he fixes his shoe, and he'll get the pass, and there goes 16. Caught it, slipped the first tackle in the second one, driving his feet, 
and he's out to the 45, so what looked like it would have been short yardage, Christian's able to make something of it. A one-play check-in for 16, and he's good for five. Javi back in the game this time, and Javi's going to get it around the left edge. He goes and spits through before two, finds him on the other 45, moves it for 10 yards and a hawk first. 46-yard line, the home of the ball, 445 in the first half. Eight-point advantage for the Matadors. And Peach up the middle, but traffic in his face from the defensive end in a hurry. And it was 23, not being fooled by nothing. Defensive end play can really make or break a defense, and we've seen some good plays from both defensive end sides. Troy going to go to the air this time and is hit as he throws it, and the ball hardly gets off the ground as he... 14 had traffic in his face, incomplete. Third down and nine means that Hayes needs some productivity here on this one. And give us to Javi again, left side, and does get some of it. Not a lot of it, but about three or four yards. It'll be fourth and a little longer than Hayes would have liked. A twins left set here for Hayes. And Troy is gonna fake it, then take it up the middle, find 92, and down he goes. Nothing doing for the Hawk fourth down try there. Ball goes over. 3.08 here in the second quarter. Five lines this team up with twins left look. Two back set in the gun. Peach and Wyatt in coverage over here, and we've got offensive movement to start. No change in the offensive set now that they face first and 15. And give is to 21, off tackle left side, good block there. And who else but Wyatt able to come and make the tackle after a six yard pickup. Coach Jones coaching his defense up, telling him to get to that line of scrimmage and squeeze down, close the hole. 21 going the other side this time. And 77 goes right by him, couldn't make the tackle and he gets to the secondary, the next level and he's gotten nearly enough for a first. So third and a yard, Hayes needs a negative play here for the offense. Eye formation, here comes the sneak, and he's got enough as he crawls forward past the 45 of Hayes. 44-yard line going in for Seguin, and they take the strength to the right side, which is the shallow side as they're on the right hash. And one-step drop, long pass, it's going to be too tall for 82, and he burned Gingro again. Seven has gotten lost a couple times with that fade route. 82 lines up to the near side this time, so Peach over top. 21, gonna go wide, there's nobody home. And then found from the backside, I think it's Kiefer, who closes in on him. And Wyatt maybe helped turn him in, and the Hawks will take a timeout. So third down with 44 seconds to go, and then the clock starts, they tell him to stop it. 21, gonna get it up the gut, and he has another first down. And now a timeout taken on the offense side. So with 37 seconds, you would sure think Seguin will go to the air here. Twins to the left side, and they will, but Kiefer disrupts things there. And then a deep throw, 82's got it! And he'll find the end zone for the second aerial strike of the day, but there is a flag down around the line of scrimmage, and it may be a hold. No, it's an ineligible receiver downfield. One of the linemen too far down the field. This one will come back. But the pressure from Kiefer caused the defense all to suck up. And Peach lost contain. Wyatt wasn't there either. All alone was 82. And they dodge a bullet. So Coach Jones reminding the secondary that you boys are playing it. You're not watching it. Don't get your eyes in the backfield. Play your spot. Wideouts to both sides. Five. Fakes to 21. And then he'll dump it to 32 in the flat. Lewis catching him and tomahawks him and has the tackle, but it's another Seguin first down. And if he got out of bounds, they won't have to use a timeout. And that's what happened. So it must have been a timeout. I saw the Seguin coaching staff saying, didn't he get out of bounds? Why do we have to waste a timeout? But not many seconds left here anyway. There's the fade again. This time Christian is in coverage and goes up when the eyes of the receiver go up. And it's incomplete, and nobody behind the secondary that time. Ten seconds on the clock. Spots the 21-yard line. 
Seguin trying to draw blood yet again before the break. And five is going to roll to his right. And he's got 33 on the post. He's going to try to find him. And why intercepts it? How about three not being fooled this time in the turnover for the Hawks on the books? Three seconds on the clock. Hayes backed up to their doorstep here. Troy in the gun, which means the ball's got to get in the end zone. And he's going to heave one down the sideline. Looking for Wyatt. And in and out of his hands. He had traffic on him as well. So even had he caught it, he may have been tackled. But incomplete. We'll go to the break. 14-6 Seguin. Eight points to make up so far for Hayes as they'll get the ball first to start the second half. Number five, the quarterback with the kicking duties has his just one step approach set. And this one will go to the right side as well. And Christian will get it. And then a good arm tackle. Normally arm tackles aren't good, but this time it's productive and Christian only gets a couple. 43 yard line of Hayes, first play of the second half. Slot T, shotgun, Troy. Give to Peach, dances a little trying to find some space and only found a yard of it. Number 50 doing the centering duties and a good job so far tonight. Troy looking for Javi in the flat and whistles blow the play dead before it can start. It's a false start on the offense. Second and 14 after the infraction. Quads, out route, Javi caught and tackled. Forward progress back to the original line. Third and 10 as if first and second didn't happen. Slot T and fake looking for Wyatt, or excuse me, Cohen. And Cohen just couldn't get there. Ball hit the turf about four yards past him, and, and Coach Jones going to tell Cohen to go adjust to the ball. So the Hawks like to quick kick if they're going to punt. It's fourth and ten in their own territory. Nobody back deep. And then you've got movement. They're going to try a shot, but it's overthrown. And Wyatt just could never get there, but there's flags. And so I think that they'll probably be on the defense, and it will be. And so fourth and five now, the down and distance. A little hope injected into things here now. Slot T, everybody in tight. And give is to Javi. And he's got company slung down and shy of the first down. Ball will go over on downs. Matadors come out in the I formation. And the dive play to 32. And it works for five. So you don't see the old fullback dive that often. But you do here in the I formation. It's the same play, other side. Kiefer, first man to him, gives up three on the play. Third and short, 21, the tailback this time. He wasn't the last two plays, so he'll be getting this ball, I'll bet you. Nope, quarterback sneak, and he's got it again. It's been productive every time they've run it tonight. Fresh set from the 40, going in. Under the center is five. I formation, dive play to the right, and then Javi gets him low and tackled on top by 68. Hawk defensive line making a sub, trying to get those guys to collapse and play low so they can win the leverage battle, 32. And this time, held onto by 50, and he just came in the ball game and did exactly the purpose in which he was subbed in to do. I think that was Tristan making that tackle, number 50 there for the nose guard, and got low and won the battle. Third and four, I formation, shovel pass, toss sweep, 21, Drake racing to the edge, Joseph, Got him from behind and tackled first underneath was Christian, number 16. And he's a yard shy. It brings up a rare fourth down for the Mats. So they've liked the quarterback sneak here in this situation. And that is what they'll do again. Fullback pushed him forward, and he's got enough for it. Not by much this time, but it is enough. A slow, methodical drive to keep the sticks moving. And just when they lull you to sleep is when they may try to go to the air. But they are in the gun this time. 21, off tackle, right side, bounces outside, has some room. And he is deceptively quick with his legs. He doesn't strike you as super speedy, but he moves that frame fast enough to get the edge, and it's second and manageable four. 
Ball inside the 25 now for the second down. And 21 will get the same play. Other side, he goes rep the gut. And 68 hangs on to him. But the tackle is made 20 yards downfield at the six yard line. First and goal again for Seguin. Two back set out of the gun. 82, wide to the left. Low snap, looking for it, and sacked. And it's Javi, comes off the edge, taking advantage of the miscue on the center QB exchange. So ball all the way back to the 15 for second and goal. And this time, five rolls to his head, and it's batted down. Knocked down by Lewis, credit eight for getting his hands up. And brings up third down. So a miscue on first down by the offense. A play by Hayes' defense on second down has led us to third and goal from the 15. Seguin took a timeout. We're back from it now. 138 in the third. Five-step drop. Three-step drop and incomplete pass. Looking for 21 out of the backfield. Kiefer was there in the flats to cover him, and it's fourth down. So the longest fourth down setup for the Seguin offense tonight. Still on the 15. And they're going to go to the air, roll to the right. Christian in coverage is going to keep it all the way. 80, tracking him. And it's Lewis who knocks him out of bounds at the 10. Ball goes back over to the hot on a turnover on downs. Still a one possession game as Hayes tucks over. Handoff is to Cohen in the early movement. We'll stop this and put them with their backs against the goal line. 10 checks in for Wyatt. First and 15 now. And Cohen's going to get it. Slips a tackle back to the inside. Trying to stay as slippery as is possible. And he gets a couple. Second and 12. Tight formation. And three-step drop. Looking for Wyatt over the middle. And how about the catch from three? It counts. And the biggest pickup of the day on the books now for the Hawks. Down to the 35-yard line and a first down. So fantastic hands, high point in that football. Peach up the middle, and he barrels forward, and he's got another first down, dragging tacklers all the way out to midfield. And you know if he can shake free and get a little space around him, he's a tough one to catch. Hurry up offense with some tempo now. 13 seconds to play in the quarter. Give is to Javi. He's got to go outside, lowers a... Boom, and picks up three. Just a touchdown separates as we start the fourth quarter going the other way. Quads, Cohen catches it, spin move, and there he's got a little shiftiness there, stays alive, and then 10 finds him and levels him after a first down to 35, and the best looking drive of the evening is underway for the Hawks. Air attack working currently for Hayes. Troy, give to Peach, right side, 40, he slips off of him, and Peach is still moving, and there he goes! 21 trying to get him and tomahawk him, and takes him down just shy of the goal line. Six is doing a tremendous job of moving his feet tonight and using strength over speed. So the equalizer just two yards away. Troy walks up under center this time. Quarterback sneak, lowers his head, and he's got it. No signal yet. And now it's there. Touchdown. Took him a minute to find it. And it's a two-point game. And so in what's been a largely defensive battle, this extra point, awfully important. Hayes goes quads. Troy going to throw the out route. Caught. And gotten. How about that? It was close. But Javi caught it and it was across before the defender found him. And it counts. We're tied at 14. Upon reviewing that video, number five, for the defense for Seguin, had about an inch before he batted that ball down. Lewis gets a good kick underway here, 82. See if they fake the reverse this time. Nope, they give it. And Joseph makes a good open field tackle and lowers the boom on the 11 yard line. So a good start for the Hawk defense here, Barry and Seguin back inside their own 20. And it looks like an I formation start for the Matadors. 82, the only lone man split out to the near side. A wing back to the quarterback's left. It's the toss to 21. 32 lead blocking. And Tristan closes the hole up there. And a big stick by 50. And he's come alive in the second half. So Tristan had help getting the ball carrier turned back to the inside. But then he lowered the effort into the running back and made the good stop. Five. Hands off the dive play, and 68 slipped off of him, and he's still going. Lewis trying to catch him, 
and does, but way too much given up. Should have been a tackle in the backfield. 68 was there and couldn't finish things. So super ill-timed for a big gash like that. A lot of time left here in the fourth quarter. 21 the other side. Eight had him, got blocked in the back, then may have grabbed his mask. No flags anywhere, and it's a no gain. Second and 10 after the no gain. Under center in the eye are the mats. Opens up to his right. They like 21 this last play. And 77 hangs on and throws him down, but he has a way, the running back that is, of falling forward for about half the distance needed each time. Third and five from the 40. Just under six minutes, a rolling clock here. Same formation, 82 has a lot of space. Christian, the corner. Four turns him back in. Joseph finds him, excuse me. Joseph turned him in and it was Lewis who found him. And Lewis has back-to-back -back tackles. So a big fourth down, Hawks need a stop. Three yards needed for the offense. And they've typically gone to five, who's coming into the huddle now to run that QB sneak that they haven't been denied all night with, but they hadn't run it from three yards deep either. We'll see what they do. They're set up to do it like they've been. They've been running that quarterback sneak out of the I formation. He takes it, he's gonna put it in the backfield, and he's found and held up and stopped. And the Hawks have a turnover on downs, just what they needed in the nick of time. Five minutes and four seconds to go. Stick with us, we got a tight one. So spot is the 37 yard line. Handoff is the Peach, off tackle. It has a hole there for a second, 44 in there and some others, and he falls forward for quite a bit, eight in fact, and it looked like a big hole for a second. It closed faster than I thought it would, but six is still productive. Seven, Gingro checks in at the left tight end spot. A lot of time left, 422. Hayes can chew as much clock as they want. Give is the Peach, gonna go right side this time. Bounces outside, and there goes six off to the races. Number six trying to catch him, but he won't. And Peach takes it the distance. And the first lead of the night for the Hawks is on the scoreboard. Four minutes and 10 seconds. Maybe they scored too fast, but a defensive battle like this, you'll take it when you can get it. Extra point coming up, don't go anywhere. A conversion here would sure make a Hawk fan feel comfortable. Give is to Peach, flags blow, and they're gonna get Cohen for taking off too early. 13, Ethan checks in the game for Cohen after that false start. Twins left. Christian, the spot is going to come in motion. He hasn't seen this all night. It's just straight to him. Trying to get the edge, but won't. 23 finds him, wraps it up, and the Matador defense take him down. It's a six-point game. It is 14 unanswered here in the second half for Hayes, showing some grit. Both football teams finding themselves in a fight tonight. 4-0-2 showing. 20 to 14, Hayes, Lewis, good deep kick, but this one may find the boundary, it's, it won't. 82 corrals it, here comes a fake this time. 82's gonna keep it, and Wyatt, first man down, wraps him up, hangs on, and the tackle on the stat sheet made. Four down linemen for Hayes now. Two linebackers, they that 3-3 stack. Javi and Lewis, your edge rushers. Shotgun formation for Seguin, handoff. three or that was a big play. 3.36 on the clock. Gein saying we aren't going away quietly. Making some noise here on this drive. 21 up the middle and then taken down by 53 and then a late flat or excuse me 53 didn't get him. I thought he did. And then a face mask. It's going to be on the defense. It's going to be a first down and 15 yards. This will take it into Hawk territory. This is about the field position where the last drive for Seguin petered out. And they'd, of course, love for that not to be the case this time. Right side this time, 21. And it looked like, I guess, Joseph on the bottom of that pile. I thought the running back, 32, who's fallen close to his lead blocker, just kind of went down on his own. Lewis was there. Wide side is the far side. Second and eight. Good snap. Handoff. Same play. Joseph finds him and suffocates him. Just smothered him in the backfield. Third and 10, nine rather. Seguin behind the sticks, 212 on the clock. It's moving, shotgun formation. Quarterback looks to his right, 82 on the flag route. And this is out of bounds. Jaden made a play on it, but it was throwing a good seven yards out of the boundary. And that'll stop the clock with 203. One thing at the sub varsity level that does not happen is 
on the scoreboard, whoever's operating it does not keep track of timeouts. And now one taken, and as I was looking at the scoreboard, I missed who called it. You probably saw it. But if a fourth down stop happens here, unless Seguin has multiple timeouts, which they've used at least one, it'll be hard to stop it, and Hayes could take some knees. But not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First thing first, got to have a fourth down stop as the bleachers come alive. Shotgun formation, three-step drop, and it's incomplete. They were looking for a screen, trying to set it up, and five didn't put enough on it. It's a Hayes football at the 42. 159, first down, in tight, but in the gun. Troy, dive play to Peach, and he gets one. Second and nine, Coach Aming sends the play in with Jaden and lets as much time cl click off as he can. A dose of Peach here, just the easy handoff give. It's not, it's Johnny! But he went back to the middle and had a bump. And 82 found him, tackled him, but it's another first down. And that'll certainly be enough now to end this one, you would think. Timeout, Seguin. So 59 seconds in victory formation. Peach back there as the safety. And so Troy should just go ahead and find his knee on this one. And he will. And no more timeouts for Seguin. 55 seconds. They'll probably have to line up one more time and do it. But with three downs ahead of them, they should have no problem. So 14 seconds, they'll snap it one more time. And that's the ball game. And Hayes needed this one. They improved to three and three on the season, snapping their two game losing streak. And it looked grim for a while in the first half. But how about the center to quarterback exchange? No fumbles tonight in the backfield. That's what's plagued the Hawks all season long. And 14 found a way to secure that football, and it showed and paid off in the second half. 20-14, to 14, the final. We'll see you guys next time.